and I feel like I'm being watched by a gremlin. <laughs> yeah, it happens. I hear a deer coming. Most people don't do that, but I'm not most people. I just need to remind you, if you came here for perfection, you are at the wrong place. Because what I'm about to show you is definitely not perfect. Do you see what I just did? That's good. So it's come to my attention that I left Elmo out of my last video. How could I do such a thing? <laughs> So, Elmo, we're gonna go feed Elmo. Some of y'all have asked about my kids and them doing work. They typically feed Elmo lunch and supper. I catch the morning shift and then go feed cows with my husband while they're getting up and getting started with their schoolwork. I hear you, Elmo. And then when I get back, I help them finish their schoolwork and we go about our day. I hear you, baby. Clara, that'll do here, baby. But mommy, it's so tempting. I just really have to go chase them. I know. All right, let's go see Elmo. She, she doesn't listen very well. Clara, <whistles> Clara, that'll do here. Come on, Clara. Okay, I'm coming, Elmo, I'm sorry. Okay, the gang's all here. The gang's all here. No, you don't need to hurt Elmo either. You don't need to hurt him. Come over here. Sit right here. Clara, Clara, honey, come here, baby. I just can't, it's just too much. It's just too much to do out oh, here. Yeah, I just need to go do all the things. Bonnie, you're not looking for breakfast, are you? Hmm? Oh, no, I won't show that. <laughs> so here's Elmo, Elmo update. Elmo's doing well, growing. No tail wagging this morning, Elmo? Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> it's like, it's like they know what I'm saying. All gone. That's all she wrote, buddy. Sorry. Mm, looks like it was good, though. Right? All right. <laughs> it's all gone. I'm sorry. That's all. That's all. Sweet baby. See you later, Gator. All right, let's go feed the big cows. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? You're waiting? Yes, I'm ready. Of course I'm ready. Do this thing, mommy. And now we wait. Right, Bonnie? <laughs> it's a hard job, but somebody's gotta do it, right? You're the best waiter companion. <laughs> yes, or is. <laughs> Stretch, Bonnie. I hear it. Do you hear it? I hear a deer coming, coming round the bend. There it is. Let's go feed some silage. I shared yesterday in my Instagram stories that it's kind of like Groundhog Day. Sometimes I feel like I'm living in Groundhog Day, the movie, because it's the same thing every day. But I guess that's life, right? Whether you're farming or not, we gotta do what we gotta do. And even though every day can seem monotonous sometimes, in a lot of ways, it's not all the same. In some ways it is, and that's not always bad. Uh, it just, it. When I stop and think about it, it helps me think about it and try to find the good and the different and the little things that maybe I don't catch on a daily basis that need catching, that need to be seen, that need to be remembered, that need to be 
held on to and cherished and feeding cows every day through the winter is just life here. <laughs> and today I'm thankful for sunshine. Sunshine and a little bit of wind. Hopefully dry up some of this mud. Um, there's always good if we look for it. There always is. So whatever your groundhog day is, because for most of us it's something. It's the same thing every day. No matter what job you're going to, there's always good in it. There's always good to be found. So just remember that today. Think about that. Try to find and see something different than you saw yesterday, even in the same old grind. It's there. Bonnie, I think I'm wearing more than I actually got in the buckets this morning. <laughs> What do you think? Waiting. Waiting on our feed. We're waiting. Coming through. So we can feed you. There's Panda. There she is. She's at the front of the line. So you're not gonna call me late for breakfast. Right, girl? Where you at? There you are. Good morning. Still have a little bit of mud soup. It's a beautiful, crisp morning. Bonnie and I are just chilling. Chilling. Right, babe? Right, gremlin? I call her gremlin because look at her ears. She's a little gremlin. And every time I turn around in the house, she's sitting there with her ears up looking at me. And I feel like I'm being watched by a gremlin. <laughs> so. So stoic. What do you see? What do you hear, Bonnie? Ah, shout out to Super Sod. My, my brother runs a location for them in Apex, North Carolina. If you live in the Southeast and you need sod, you need Super Sod. Yeah. Okay, Judd. Bill's in the mail for that little commercial. Just kidding. I love my hat. I'm my toboggan. It's a great toboggan. All right. Wait for the silage. Does that sound feel so good? Yes, she said it did. Telepathically, she said it feels really good. I see you. Is your mommy over there? Yeah, it happens. My boys are working hard. Look. Bless his heart. Oh, that's hard work. Don't make a man out of him. Doing good, buddy. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna show you what I'm making for supper tonight. Cause it's very easy and I think it's very good and my family thinks it's very good. So another way to use a pound of ground round, pound of hamburger, yeah, same thing, um, is a taco ring. Have you ever made a taco ring? If you haven't, you need to do it. It's very easy. So pound of hamburger, a package of taco seasoning mix, Piggly Wiggly is what I'm using, <laughs> Piggly Wiggly brand. Some cheese, not measured, like handfuls of cheese. I use mozzarella because it's all I've got. So, it's very versatile, 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 however you want to say that. And then I'm going to show you the fun part in just a minute. You use two cans of crescent rolls. 
I've done it with one can of crescent rolls because a lot of times I don't have them, but I just happened to go to the store today and I bought them. So anyway, and you make this little sun ring and then you put that in the middle and you fold it over and you bake it and you put whatever you want on top and it's amazing. Do you hear my son? He's playing the guitar. I love it. One day I'm gonna have him playing background music for my videos and that is gonna be an awesome day. It's coming. Pop, popping um, biscuit cans, not champagne, biscuit cans. Um, so before I show you, before I show you the pan, I'm doing mine in a cast iron skillet because that's what I like to do. Most people don't do that, but I'm not most people. And also, I just need to remind you, if you came here for perfection, you are at the wrong place. Because what I'm about to show you is definitely not perfect, nor pretty, but trust me, it's going to taste good, okay? Okay, I mean, we hope it is. Okay, I, I wasn't lying here. So this is what I do. You go around and you put a triangle, triangle, triangle. You kind of overlap them and I kind of smush them like that. And then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put the next ones in the gaps, okay? And we're gonna have this little ring. I have this little ring, of crescent rolls. And then we're gonna put the filling in it and we're gonna fold it over and we're gonna bake it. And we're gonna hope for the best. And it's probably not gonna be the best, especially because I'm videoing it. And that's how my life works. But let's see. Okay, this is actually not working. I got my hair done today. Can you tell? That's why it's, it's all on my face and it's kind of bothering me. But anyway, this is not working very well. What happened is I left the crescent rolls out for too long because I did, was putting groceries away and I forgot about them. And they're, they're, um, they're turning into like pizza dough. So we've lost the triangles. So I'm just gonna have to take these apart and do the best I can. You can do better. You can do better than me. But I think you're going to get the idea and hopefully still be able to replicate this to some degree. We'll see. So the, this is a general idea, okay? So hopefully you would have better looking little, a better looking ring than this. And then you would just fold it over after you put the meat in the middle meat in the middle do you do you do you see that do you hear what i just said meat in the middle we're gonna meet in the middle here <sighs> that's not even a good one and um like i say this is a big fat fat mess we're gonna cook it on 375 until it's done until it's brown maybe 15 or 20 minutes <sighs> just trust me it'll still taste good it doesn't have to look good to taste good can i get an amen okay thank you Okay, see, look y'all, it turned out. It turned out. It doesn't have to be pretty to taste good. I promise you it's good. Cheese, lettuce, salsa. Dorothy Lynch, do you know Dorothy Lynch? She doesn't live in North Carolina or Virginia. I have to get her shipped from Nebraska. So next week while I'm there for Farmer to Farmer Conference, I'm taking an extra suitcase to bring home Dorothy. Yeah, I really am. Okay, that's that. Let's eat supper. I was just going to video him coming in with the hay, but forgot that the strings need to be taken off. <laughs> Whoopsie. Got it. Well, the sun is not out today, which makes me a little depressed. <laughs> it's supposed to rain again and it's cold but it's friday it's not bad oh and later i get to go get my christmas present for myself to myself from myself stay tuned it's gonna be very exciting and the mud goes on it's drying some not enough okay let's go back some corn to take to somebody and go get my Christmas gift to myself. I'm telling you, it's awesome. All right, 
Got 11, gonna get, wait, I thought we need 20. We do. 11 plus nine is 20. I thought after he does that one. Oh, gotcha, okay, yeah. Does this beat the way we had to do it last year with the cobs? Yeah, it's better. It's better, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a lot easier. <laughs> Depends on who's tying them. We don't know how to tie like he well, does. He has a special way of tying. And I cannot figure it out for the life of me. Well, then as simple as it can be. No, not for me. It's this whole uses your pinky thing. I can't figure it out. <laughs> I was never a Girl Scout. My girls. Two of my girls. <laughs> Here we are. At the get in place. Yeah. That's right. I get to get myself tires for Christmas. Woohoo! Hopefully, hopefully not those. I think they're waiting on me right there. Oh, and look at those people. They're actually trading out some tires with some people I know. So, my old tires <laughs> are going on his farm truck because mine need replacing, but they're better than what he's got. And see, that's the way this works. And our buddy, Doug, that owns the shop, needed some deer corn to sell, so we're just doing all sorts of fun things, aren't we? Hey, Clara! Did you get to come? <laughs> Alrighty, then. And while we wait, this this commences. <laughs> Are you giving Austin a bath, Clara? Uh-huh. That's so sweet of you. Even though we know where your tongue has been. <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> so it goes. Okay, the Christmas tires are bought and put on with care with hopes that I will not soon need a spare. <laughs> Wait a minute, do you see what I just did? That's good. Okay, um, now we're going in the library. We're going in the library because my internet is not good. I was trying to think of some other way to say that, but it's just not good. So, kids are going to check out books. I'm going to load this vlog, and we'll see you next time. Everybody say, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for being here. Yep, and subscribe. And subscribe. That's right. Ciao. Until next time. What's the saying? Ciao. Ciao. No. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Farm hard, live well. <laughs>